Kaz ışıkları sönünceye kadar lütfen. Welcome to Istanbul Airport, meeting point of the world. It's 4 a.m. and I made it to Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> Let's go. of a bus fiasco, but I'm finally in Istanbul city center. And to my hostel, it's like 7.30 a.m. right now. And this is my place. Cheers. So I arrived in Istanbul safely, but now I'm stuck outside the hostel. No one's coming to the door and it's locked. I can't get in. So I don't know what to do. Beautiful sunrise. Finally got into my hostel. Today, these are associated with the Ottomans. You may come across people with the name Chinat. Kind of like old style brick building, very messy right now, but my bed. This square is the Hippodrome, which was built during Roman times. And next to it, you can see the spires of the Blue Mosque in the distance. There's an Egyptian obelisk on a Greek column and a Roman obelisk too in the distance. And this is the German fountain. You can also do like this, and you can cut it into half. So you can eat half of up to There's something called salad. Made of you can watch it. They say because of you, we have this. The the way is in, then the way is in, the way is in, the way is in, the way is in, I could just pass. He was very, very famous. Like that. 
my hostel is in a really touristy spot, but at least I get to walk by these every morning. River. I'm on the European side right now and over there is the Asian side. It's the divide between two continents. To the north it leads to the Black Sea and to the south it leads to the Sea of Marmara and eventually the Aegean Sea and the Mediterranean. One country, two continents and it's the only city in the world that sits on two continents. My newest obsession, baklava. This gorgeous flaky pastry with pistachios and sugar and it's just amazing. This is the inside of the Hagia Sophia and it was first built as a church before the Great Schism so there was no denomination and now it has been converted into a mosque during the Ottoman Empire. This building is 1500 years old from the 500s. was the biggest building built at that time and the dome is one of the largest in the world. This is the name of Allah, and then the other names are Prophets and Muhammad. But you can see there a fresco of the Virgin Mary and Jesus. 
It's still used as a mosque today, so only non-Muslims can access the top floor. This is the Blue Mosque. It was built during the Ottoman times, I think, way after the Hagia Sophia, to complement it. This mosque is covered in these blue tiles that were each individually hand painted. Like 20,000, I think. The Topkapi Palace is just beautiful. Spent maybe two and a half hours just wandering the grounds. It's huge. This is winter. I don't want to know what summer is like. This is the Church of St. Irene, and it's one of the last iconoclastic churches remaining. This church is really old, it was built in the 500s. mountain orchids and I guess cinnamon on top and the most important part nobles okay <laughs> So 
is just my vibe. I love it. I guess the guy from the hotel is gonna come out and get me. I don't know where it is. This is my like little room tonight. It's just like a home. It's in the weirdest place. But uh, it'll be for one night and then I'll take a taxi. It's the airport in the morning because I don't think the bus runs that early. Wow, when it's dark. 